Hello everyone, my name is Nana Cece. Welcome to my story time. Today we're going to read Free to Be. I hope you enjoy it. Free to Be by Maya and Matthew. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 he, 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 he. He, he, she, 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 they, they. They, 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 tree, Z, tree, Z, tree, Z. We, 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 we. Pronouns. When you were born, you were given a name and a pronoun, probably he or she. As you get older, and know yourself more and more on the inside. Some of the ideas of she and he may fit you, and some of them may not. Ideas about he and she are very strong right now. Many people believe he means only certain things, and she means only certain things. These ideas affect what people think about everything. How you dress, how you wear your hair, or how you express the spirit of who you are, even what colors you like. People can think they know what your pronoun is based on their ideas about he and she. This is a way of only looking at the outside of a person and not the inside of a person. Freeing pronouns. On the inside, you may not feel like he or she at all. Maybe they feels the most free. Or you may feel like both she and he but mostly you probably just feel like yourself. This inside part is the most important part because there is no one else like you in the world. This is why everyone should be free to be exactly who they are on the inside. Who you are is not always something you can put into words or explain. You just know who you are because you are. Pronouns can be a way to share how you feel on the inside because this inside part is the most important part of you it cannot be about outside ideas of how people think she or he is supposed to act. It has to be about how you feel. The truth is, ideas about he and she change all the time. If they don't fit, you might be an important part of changing them. Claiming pronouns. Because there is only one you. Only you can know you. That means there is never a right or wrong way to be you. Only your way. This is also why only you can know what pronoun expresses the spirit of who you are on the inside, and why being free to claim the pronoun or pronouns that feel right to you is important. You know what feels right to you both inside and outside. You can even have an inside pronoun and an outside pronoun. Not only can he and she mean more than what people think, there are also more pronouns than just she and he. You are not alone if he and she don't fit. 
Many people have played with pronouns and still do because of how they feel inside. Here are some ideas. You can use your own name as your pronoun. You can change pronouns from he to she or from she to he. You can use new ones like Z or create your own like tree. Some people use they, which is a perfect way. There are many more pronouns waiting to be discovered and used. People are creating new pronouns all the time. Using pronouns. To begin creating room for everyone including yourself, there are ways to use pronouns that make room for more than just she and he. When you first meet someone, tell them your name and you can ask theirs. You don't have to know more than that to play. If you hear a pronoun from that person, great! You can use that pronoun. If you don't hear a pronoun from that person and you need to use one, you could use they and keep playing. And maybe they is what they love to be called anyway. And what about you? Do you like to be called they too? You could share your pronoun by saying it plain and simple if you want or just stick with your name. Do what feels right to you. Doing things like this lets people know that you have bigger ideas about he and she and you know there are more than two pronouns and ways of being yourself in the world. This helps everyone feel freer and more welcome to play. Playing with pronouns. If you want to keep playing with as many people as possible and making room for yourself, keep playing with pronouns. You can practice seeing more of the inside of people and not just the outside of people. Use your imagination to play with how characters in movies and books could feel on the inside. Begin by using they for different characters. Or change a main character from he to she. Or from she to he. You don't have to change their name, just their pronoun. Playing like this gives you an even bigger idea about he and she and gives you bigger ideas about how people feel on the inside, including you. Keep claiming. Keep playing. Keep knowing yourself inside and out. You rock!